to two Truck Adventures number 57. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a very good, very expensive cargo, uh, which hopefully should, plus the money we've got already, get us two more trucks in the Lisbon garage. There's also some things we need to think about along the way driving along here, but we'll get into that as we get into this episode. Before we do that, make sure you like and subscribe, watching YouTube, follow me on Twitch. I'm trying to get to 130 followers and affiliates, do follow me. Please watch me on that really helps me out. Check out the link in the description below for the playlist, the previous episodes, all the future ones, depending when you're watching this. And of course, check out the channel and social, all the social media as well, I suppose. Also enjoy it. Right, uh, I do have like a little sweet in my mouth to keep my throat hydrated while we go along this, as it will be a long journey, as you can see. Over 2,000 miles. Uh, we're going to make it a bit longer because I don't want to go through Kaliningrad. Uh, we're going to be going all the way from Toulouse all the way up to Navarre, which is Estonia. So we're not going to pass the Russian border. We shouldn't go through any borders. So I'm going to get us going this way so we don't have to go through it. It it, it says it as the time, but it doesn't. It's quicker. So it's going to be about 48 hours, 2,000 miles, but that's without sleeping. Of course, we're going to have to sleep. It means that everybody should deliver... Uh, at least one cargo. I think I'll I, I check the longest delivery for someone to deliver is around about 85 hours But obviously your your drivers are also included with their sleep. It, it plans all of that out. So um, With our sleep as well. We should be yeah within that time scale uh, This is the best one. I, I have slept. That's why it's gone from 11 hours to 2 hours because I was just checking if there was gonna be anything better There isn't uh, so let's take the job and then let's discuss what we need to think about going forward from here because going obviously yeah i'll hook up this first and then we'll, we'll get ready with this uh so let's hook up it's a really light load obviously there we go we're ready hook up the, hook up the trailer Right, trailer's hooked up. Yep, yeah, 2033 miles and 47 hours 51. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull to the gate. Uh, let me just pull to the gate here. Uh, and let me then change where we're going. Uh, and then we'll discuss what we're doing. Because we might completely change where we're going. Because I, ju I just don't want to go around that. I'm going to go through there. That's where we're gonna go up. Okay, cool. Is it still sort of the same way? It is the same way. It basically just changes, I think, from Berlin because it's a ring road here. So this is where it decides where you go. Um. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, it hasn't really changed that much, I don't think. Uh, I can't really see because it's saying, please select a load. We're going to select a load. Right, so 2,090 miles and 48 hours, 5 minutes. But in reality, it is quicker. Trust me, we don't have to go through two borders, which take an absolutely long time. Um, should I open my drink? Because it's Russian borders, so you have to go through quite a lot of procedures to actually get through. Um, this is a tram track. I noticed that actually when I was going to the hotel to sleep. That is a tram track. Right. Anchor in front is taking forever. Right, so we're going off this exit. Uh, should have discovered the whole roundabout by doing that. Uh, and we'll discover the whole of this roundabout as well. Um, right. We've got 137,000 in the bank. Uh, which means we need about 90,000 to buy our next uh, truck and um, truck and driver, which we can easily get, like really easily get without, um, without even delivering this. Uh, plus our delivery with other stuff that we also get, um, we should be buying two trucks. Which means we're only going to have two spaces. Obviously, we have to upgrade the Lisbon garage, and then we've got another two trucks to buy. Uh, which means from where we're delivering, we've we've actually straight away just got to go straight back to Madrid. We've got to go to Madrid because I, I'm I'm feeling like Madrid's obviously further than Toulouse, which means it takes longer. Uh, we can go 50. It takes longer to get to, right? Which is more time for our drivers to obviously earn stuff. 
we should also get higher... I mean, if we don't do it in one journey, we're going to have to do multiple journeys. Which, you know, will take even longer. But we'll also maybe bring in more cargo. Um, more money, sorry. Not more cargo. Well, definitely more cargo, but more money as well. Um, no, we're going to go through the toll here. Um... Just all of that added together. Yeah, I think then we could afford the garage in Madrid. And then it's kind of like... I don't know. Our long our long distance driving might stop. After that one. Or might not. I don't know. It might be after Paris. Our long distance one stops. Because, I mean, Madrid to Paris isn't that far of a distance. But it's definitely quite a bit of distance where we could get a bit of money. But I think actually our drive down to Madrid maybe from uh, where we are delivering this, which is uh, Narva, um, could just be to buy the depot. So then it could be just one more long distance maybe to Istanbul, one, and then one back to Paris, and it could be, it could start doing stuff like that. So it's kind of like, kind of like we've got to plan where we're going now. We, we can't really just go anywhere we like. Which means, you know, not just simply picking the most expensive cargo. Uh, actually, we can say in this because we're, oh no, we can't. It's a slip road. Um, can't just stay, can't just really go with the most expensive. We've got to sort of follow the capital cities. Uh, I still need to know. <sighs> Spain is going to have the same trucks as, as Portugal. So's so's Denmark. So's the Netherlands, right? Because they can all carry a lot higher cargo value. Okay. I'm then thinking everywhere else, including France, will probably just be the two axle. Because I'm thinking people in France. Yes, they can. Yes, I think in the game they can go to 44 tons, but I'm trying to think of where they're actually going to go, our drivers. Realistically, they're, they're going to go through Austria, Italy, and Germany constantly. Or are they going to go down to, like, Lisbon? Are they going to go to the top of the UK? Are they going to go Scandinavia? But if they go Scandinavia, they still have to go through Germany, which means they're limited to 40 tons anyway. We've obviously the Netherlands, they can go into the UK, and in that Netherlands, that's 44. Everywhere else, they're sort of limited to 40 as well. 5,000 in from Lenka. You know, and Link has leveled up. Is it worth? Is it worth for France with those forty-four? I think. I think yes. I think Belgium. Oh, I'm trying to think with Belgium as well. Belgium's even further away from Spain, so they're more likely to go. Well, Portugal, so they're more likely to go that way as well. Yeah, I think, yeah. We've just got to try a plan. I mean, I know France, Belgium, they're quite far away. Um, income in from Chris K of £8,500. And leveled up. So Chris K's got one more level up before we need to change him from long distance to balanced. That's two drivers delivered already. And we're up to 150000 So, you know... It might possibly be after our first sleep. We might be buying our second truck for Lisbon already. And I've got to kind of watch out for which one I buy. Because obviously they're the same price. The UK and... Uh, I'm say UK and Iberia sort of trucks. Or like Western Europe. Our UK and Western Europe trucks are identical apart from the interior. It's obviously the steering wheel is on a different side.
So, just need to make sure we buy the right one. Anyway, from here, uh, we have a good nine hours left of drive time. So, might make it to Belgium. Um, half a tank of fuel. That should be enough, to be fair. We're a very light load. We're only carrying six tons of medical equipment. I think overall, trailer load and truck combined, 21 tons. It's, it's light. It's very light. It's lighter than taking the toys in the last episode. We are four tons lighter. What is this in front of us? It was a double trailer then. It looks quite tall. But I think it's just because it's next to the um, camper van that looks tall. Why are we gaining on this as well? So quickly. Is this stuck behind a caravan or something? No. Just going slow. I know, I know we're on a very, very, very slight incline, but doesn't make any sense. Uh, Want to be in this lane anyway, as we're going to go to a toll, and these are the fast lanes for the toll. <laughs> All right, once we're up to 56, we'll put the cruise control back on. There we go. I think we're going to go around Paris. There's a police car, so yeah, I don't want to be speeding. Uh, I think we're going to go around Paris. There are signs to Paris that we are going towards, so... Looks like we are going towards it. Hopefully we don't go through actual Paris, we're going the motorway around it. There's a truck coming up, but we are well ahead. Uh, yeah. So it's just, yeah, if we do, if we, obviously if we do get two trucks on this journey, I mean, really stretching it, two trucks and the upgrade of the garage on this journey, it is definitely head to Madrid. Definitely head to Madrid. I'm guessing our Lisbon guys... Our Lisbon guys will be picking up really good value for money cargo. Because they can just drive double trailers of everything. Um... I don't know if they have to unlock maybe three or four distance. It might be four on the distance before they can actually leave Iberia. I mean, the first sort of place they could go... ...would be the, the French and Italian island, like Corsica. I think would be the first place they could go by, by boat. Well, obviously, ferry doesn't count if the mileage they can drive by. So... I mean, they could actually make it all the way to probably Italy with a ferry across.
same by going actually into the UK, into Plymouth. I mean, going up that way. They'd make more money going into the UK than they would going to Italy, because obviously they can carry up to 44 tonnes into the UK. Four more tonnes of cargo equals a bigger payload. I wish there was a way to actually, um, you know, choose to have what your drivers pick. Like, you know, not go the longest distance and whatever and do, like, the highest paid cargo, but do the most per mile cargo. Because then I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have my drivers, like, from Edinburgh, London, Cardiff, always going down to Turkey or up to Russia every time. I, th I think they'd stay in the UK a lot more often for the biggest, uh, for the bigger, because obviously they can carry double stack trailers. So like, you know, London up to Aberdeen with, um, you know, six tons of computer processors rather than four tons, you know, going down to Turkey. We're discovering a lot more road, a lot more of France. Um, to be fair, when we when we go to Madrid next on our next year, because it probably will be to Madrid, we probably would have discovered thirty percent of the map. Thirty percent. We're, we're over twenty six. This probably will take us to twenty seven. This is a lot of France we're going to discover. Once we get to the north around about Paris, uh, and obviously go through. That way, we've we've been this way before, so we won't really discover anything new unless we go into any new petrol stations or drive past petrol stations that we've been into but haven't discovered the motorway. Um, we won't really discover anything until we get into uh, you know, in and around Narva. But then, obviously, back towards Madrid, down again. You know, we haven't discovered Madrid yet. I did forget. I did forget to check, didn't I? If we discovered half the cities on the map yet, I don't think we have. Looking at like the cargo and stuff, like that, I don't think. I think we've discovered a quarter of the cities on the map, but I don't think we discovered half. There's a lot of Spanish cities we haven't discovered. A lot of French cities as well, actually. Quite a lot of the big countries we haven't discovered yet. many of their cities. Like, I'm looking at Germany. Germany, we've only discovered three. Three in Germany. <laughs> Not a lot at all. Uh, we are definitely going to discover one more, though, because we've never delivered to Narva before. So it will be another city discovered. I love driving at night in the game more than the daytime because there's just no traffic. Like you can just cruise along so nice and easy. Probably not best to look at, like, you know, for you guys wise, viewer wise, because you can't see as much as what you can in the daytime. But driving wise, it's a lot better. So it should pull over a little bit. Give a little flash. To say you can come in, but they're not going to. There they go. Still, yeah, the hints of SCS bringing coaches and buses into the game. Uh, to, to have us drive around. But they haven't even brought in, like, buses locally yet. 
Like, I want local AI buses in the cities going around. I want that to come in. They still haven't brought it. There's loads of bus stops and there's bus stations, but I don't have any local ones. Also, like, the AI coaches should use, like, those sort of stations. We see them at the petrol stations now. Obviously, the newer ones that have been updated. You see them park there and everything. Just see them actually driving. Might come in the update with the pedestrian update of them driving around as well. Alright, toll. Green, 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 green lights. We're gonna beat that truck with the car transporter out of here. Yeah, we're ahead. I actually need to get over. Oh my days. Flipping out. No one no one wants to let us over. So rude. So rude. Choose to get on the motorway. That's not what I wanted to press. I wanted to press cruise control. There we go. Uh, still got five hours to go. Still all new road we're discovering. I wonder... Mm, I don't think we're going to come a new way into Belgium to discover more Belgium roads. I believe there's only two countries we haven't driven through, which is the Czech Republic and Montenegro. I think they're the only two we haven't driven through. Yeah, we're going towards Paris. So here we go. This is roads we've all been down before. Speed camera with us there. Yeah, limited to slower speeds. I think after this junction, we can go back up to 90 kmh. Stay in this lane.
jumping straight over. There's no way I'm sitting in that. Oh, why is there a tanker in this lane? We're going straight over into here because we actually went faster than that car. Why is there a tanker just sitting there? It's outrageous. So many cars changing lanes. We can actually sit in this lane. There we go, cruise control active. It's nuts. Catching up with a slow moving truck in front. We should be okay. Now we're going to start braking, aren't we? It's early morning traffic, so you know, we'll just sit in this lane, we'll bite the bullet if we have to drop two or three mile an hour. Uh, we can't really do anything about it, there's just too much traffic everywhere. See up ahead how they're all braking and everything, changing into faster lanes. We've just got to hope that within our lane, Everything that can go above 90 kmh gets out of it. Uh, we are turning off here though, so that's probably why there is quite a bit of traffic. Toll makes sense. Le Havre. I don't know if we are still going towards Paris. I think we are. No, we're... Mm, I don't know. We're turning for this junction now. I haven't been this way before either. I can't really see because of the... Um, the sun. Don't break for that, That's, that looks like a sharp turn. Ah, low fuel warning has just come up. Okay. Uh, we've got three hours until we need to sleep. Keep it on that, so we know what we're doing. That's below a hundred, right? I think that's below a hundred. Yeah, we're turning off here again. I've just turned my room light off because uh, that should be able to help me see a lot clearer. Yeah, it's under a hundred miles. I 
mean, the more we coast and everything, the further we can go. Because the less we're accelerating. It's it's because of the tolls. It's the constant, like, braking, accelerating, braking, accelerating, which causes us to uh, use a lot more fuel. Um, yeah, okay. We've got a petrol station coming up right now, just before Paris. Uh, I'll keep it on the long distance on that side, just so I know, you know, if we see any others. Uh, we are going towards Paris. i got another toll coming up, but I can't see another petrol station. So, probably will pull into this one. Yeah, we'll pull in here. Uh, how long do we need to sleep, actually? We've got two hours until we need to sleep. So I probably won't fill up with fuel when we do need to sleep. I think, yeah, we'll go straight out. We won't sleep here. We'll keep going. Yeah, we'll keep going. The extra two hours. Because we can sleep at tolls in France. So I definitely know there is somewhere to sleep further ahead. We'll go past this. We um, get that back to speed. There we go. Um, right. Again, that's more road discovered because we hadn't gone through that petrol station before, but we have gone on the motorway there. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep going. I know there's a toll coming up, which we can definitely sleep at. So, we'll at least go to that toll. Uh, we've got 1,642 miles to go. Uh, 38 hours, 40 minutes to go. We're turning off here, so we do need to stay in this lane. Everyone just going really slow here. Yeah, Paris is straight ahead and we're just not going that way. Got 150,000 in the bank, so we need 80,000. Um... We're not going to get that before we go sleep, I don't think. But we might get it after we wake up, because obviously we might get money more before we go sleep and money while we are sleeping. Oh, it's just straight ahead. Right, okay. Right. Okay. Whoa! That car indicated into the middle lane as well, same as me. So, yeah. We want to be in this one, though, because obviously this is the uh, fast one for the toll. There's a yawn. Uh, okay, yeah, I see a petrol station and a toll coming up. I'd rather sleep at a petrol station than a toll, if I'm honest. But we have got them coming up. Hour and a half to go, yeah. I'm not going to bother with filling up with fuel. The reason is we've just filled up with fuel there. Obviously, we've got the 20%, no, 15% 15, 15 save on fuel now. So we don't need to. Oh, We've got blocked by the train. But there's there's a there's a lovely double-decker train, TGV. 
Oh, we're actually speeding. Going over the train tracks now. Right, are they going? If we got a little bit of money in, I don't think it was much, because we're still on 150,000. It wasn't a lot at all. Less than a thousand pounds in by someone. We've got an hour and ten minutes still, so I'm going to actually go past this. We've got plenty of time. We've got the toll straight after, you can see on the map. So, we could sleep in the toll. Uh, we got another. We got another toll. There's just so many tolls in France. They can just keep going. Pass this one, we'll go to the next one, we'll make that one within an hour. Turning off at this junction to so stay at this lane. By the time we get up to 56, we'll have to slow down, I think. No, no, we don't. We're going a lot quicker than what I thought. Slow down. I'd say 30 minutes okay 30 minutes hmm I don't see anything after this so we are definitely stopping here this is where we're sleeping So slow through here. Obviously, the rest area is on this side, so we gotta go through this one. Don't know why they're not open. Those two on uh, that side, because that would be perfect going through there. Uh, so 172,000, Monica's just brought in some money. I'll wait for the... I think we've got £34 from Marcel. Marcel's bringing in very little money, but it's money anyway. I will talk quickly. Christine's brought in some money as well. Still beeping at us, but it's enough to, uh, enough to go. Uh, Elaine has also brought in some money. Oh, it goes into two lanes. Right, we can go now, I think. Yeah. 
Okay, so it's 172,000, so yeah. After our next sleep, should definitely be enough to, uh, to buy the next truck. We only need 50,000. Uh, and obviously drive sleep is about 19 hours. No, yeah, 19 hours? 19 hours. Let's say 18 hours, though. Let's say 10 hours drive, 8 hours. So 18 hours to get 50,000 from our 15 drivers, because we are we have there's 16 in the total company, including us. Oh, there was a rest area, like, there. I think I didn't have long, though. I mean, well, to be fair, if I went through, like, the non-stopper one, I probably could have made it to this. Yeah, I probably could have made it to this. It doesn't really matter, though, to be honest. Well, it would have been something I would have discovered. But, it's fine. So, 172 plus 160 uh, together is obviously 330. So we have 330, uh, which means we need to earn 120,000 more to be able to get two trucks. Uh, considering it says it's going to take 36 and a half hours to get there without any sleep. <sighs> I, I believe, I believe. I think the reason actually Marcel isn't bringing in that much money, uh, even though they probably are doing double trailers everywhere, is because the amount of tolls they have to go through, which would definitely lower our profits. Petrol station. But yeah, it's taken an hour to get here, so it would definitely would have been we would have been half an hour over minimum, probably actually forty five minutes probably over to get here. I think we are about to cross the border into Belgium. Oh no, it's a toll. Got my hopes up a little bit. Oh, flipping hell. You see the barrier? Jump twice. Sake. That's how I got caught out in the Italian one last episode. discovered a lot of France. We might have discovered over 50% of France by now. The amount of new road we've discovered from Toulouse to here. <laughs> Probably have discovered about 50% of France.
there are flags waving so this is yes so from here now we won't discover any brand new road uh, until we get to nearer our destination uh, so Alex has just brought in some money lovely two thousand one hundred seventy two pound yeah no new road now until we get into uh, Latvia I believe yeah Latvia is at the top right yeah Lithuania Estonia Latvia Uh, obviously, unless we pull into petrol stations we haven't been into before. Well, like I said, there's no there's no need to panic on discovering new road or places, considering we have to go get all the garages, you know, go to every capital city, and then go to cities that are in between capital cities to, to make them up. Grease DLC might come out before then, might not. I don't think it will. I think with the delays to 1.5, I'm pretty sure everything else gets delayed and backlogged. I guaranteed the MP5 actress that they said would probably come out at the end of this year won't. It'll probably come out in 2025. Everything just gets delayed. Are making the good steady progress uh, we have 71 hours and 40 minutes to deliver this I think this is gonna be tighter than what I think like when we when we took this one it says it wasn't an important delivery or an urgent one but I think we're gonna have less time to deliver this than what we did the previous one which was an important delivery Which just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Oh. Roadworks has been here since the start of like the game in 2012. Surely they would have finished these roadworks by now. We are not going towards Luxembourg, so we want to go to the same here. Should we just stay in this lane now? Yeah, past these guys who are struggling to accelerate. Reaching top speed. They've reached it. And now they're going past. How they're going past? We're going, you know, 90 kmh. All the trucks shouldn't be able to go above that. Yeah, we're staying in this lane because we're going straight ahead. Oh, they fall down to this lane. They're definitely turning off.
yeah, we just stay in this lane because we're not turning off the next junction either. We've been driving almost four hours and 174,000. I think we can get over now. Was that another side for Luxembourg again? Yeah, Luxembourg. It's telling me I might need to get over, so... Sure. Yep. Yeah. Whee! That was steep. Deutschland. So. Slow down to 50 now. Lower speeds obviously equals better fuel consumption. Also means obviously less miles we're going to do, so you'll use less fuel anyway. Yeah, they really need to update the Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg as France and Germany are so much more updated than them. Turn off lane. But sign those miles so well, they're all in kilometers, not miles. we would get to at least 200,000 in the bank before we went to sleep. Oh, there we go. Marek's just brought in 16,000. So that's a 190 now, and Marek has leveled up. Yeah, now we're just going to get overtaken by trucks constantly. I mean, we're really light, and we're struggling up this hill. So this guy's definitely flooring it. They're definitely heavier than us. They're carrying bricks, it looks like, right? Or paving slabs? I think that's paving slabs. No, it is bricks. Can't really tell in the dark. So, we need now 35,000. 35,000 to buy our next truck. We should definitely get that when we wake up from our next sleep. If 
for a Lisbon truck driver to deliver a bit more money. Like, he, he gets, like, just over £100 one way, and then, like, £35 the, net the other way. It's not a lot. It is profit, though. I can't complain. Any profit is good. Yeah, I didn't know why that van decided to pull in behind that truck. It should have just stayed in the outside lane and gone past both of us. Nope, they're indicating they've gone off. We're going straight ahead. down car on top of the bridge. Yeah, nothing's going to come past me because we're going to one lane. We have 31 hours and 1,300 miles. So we've done like a third. A third of the journey is complete. See, we haven't reached Berlin yet. At the moment, we are uh, near Dortmund. Gonna go past Dortmund now. Yeah, yeah, there's Dortmund signs, so yeah. Not gonna stop in there. into our drive this might be three hours this might be a three hour one I mean it is over 2,000 miles uh, and it's quite slow obviously like 50 through here through Poland's 50 basically everywhere is 50 and um, yeah And then you were going down all the Polish, uh, you know, countryside, which is even slower. I actually can't believe I can go, like, just keep the cruise control at 50 and 80 kmh round those and no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be. <laughs> I feel like in real life, you shouldn't be able to do that. I feel like it'd be a bit too much. Um, but they're the speed limits. If I can go that speed, I will go that speed. I feel like possibly it should be maybe 70 kmh round those bits. A 
my coach has been up behind me the whole time. They are now going past. We have still four and a half hours of drive time remaining, so yeah, we're going to go past this petrol station. We, we should level up again straight away with this, obviously the amount of miles we're doing. This being a high value and fragile cargo as well, also gives us quite a lot of XP bonus. That speed camera. Yeah, I'm driving at night. It's only 1.30 in the morning, so we are going to sleep at about 5 o'clock, which means we'll avoid the morning peak hour. But when we do wake up, we'll go straight into the evening peak. Um, but yeah, we should definitely... Definitely when we wake up, afford our second truck in Lisbon, which means more money and will come in quicker. Uh, and then plus, obviously, the, the money we're going to get for this delivery with everyone else adding to it. What's going on? Okay. Uh, yeah, we should be able to get two trucks. And that means, obviously, when we're making our way to Madrid in the next episode, it means, obviously, we are going to be, uh, you know, earning money even quicker with another two trucks going around. Petrol station coming up though. I think it's said on that sign. Uh, now nah, we'll we'll go by. We've got three and a half hours still. We've got plenty of time. I feel like we should make it to the actual German Polish border uh, before we need to sleep again. We weren't too far out from Germany. Uh, sorry, Belgium when we slept. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we should, we should maybe make it to the border. Uh, I'm pretty sure Belgium, yeah, I'm pretty sure Poland, Germany has a petrol station at the border. I think it's, I think it's on the Polish side. We should definitely make it there. Uh, we've still got, you know, just under half a tank worth of fuel. So, no need to worry about fuel. There goes police. Yeah, they have definitely updated it to BMWs, 5 Series, from the Volkswagens. Something I have noticed. British police cars definitely need updating. I mean, in the UK we use BMWs as well. They could just make change the Jags out for the BMWs.
they in this lane? Yeah, that's a turn off lane, yeah. We're actually going up here. It doesn't look like we're going up here, but we are going up here. Uh, right. When we do... Ooh, how long we got? It's ready to sleep. Mm, no, we're still going to be over a thousand miles away. Thought we might just be under the a thousand mile mark. We won't be. going past right now. We're going past Hanover right now. Yeah, because they definitely updated they've definitely updated the, the British ambulances. Uh, since the game's come out to the newer vans, like everyone else. Uh, I'm sure the fire engines have been updated as well. But they haven't updated the police cars. They update the whole map. But that will be updated probably after. I'm hoping, I, I really do hope, the next DLC they make is the Irish DLC. What the hell is going on here? Okay, it's just roadworks on that side there. I mean, it doesn't affect us, it only affects cars, that speed limit change. Because I'm trying to think, the, the only after Greece and after Nordic expansion, there's actually, apart from Ireland, Northern Ireland, there's no other European countries to add. Yes, you've still got Heart of Russia. Well, actually, no, that's not true, is it? You've got the Heart of Russia, which I think was meant to be the whole of Russia, or the whole European part of Russia. Like, it was meant to go only as far in as as, um, as Moscow. Or, like, maybe one fit city further than Moscow. You know, and around there. Uh, but then you've still got, I think, I think it is... I want to say Moldova. I want to say Moldova. Uh, and then Ukraine, obviously, and Belarus. I feel like Ireland, Northern Ireland, and the UK rework will come before Ukraine, Belarus, and that because because of you know they haven't released the heart of Russia because of uh, the current conflict going on. So I don't think they're going to do Ukraine <laughs> or Bel until the war's over, um, which could be a few more years. Although there are reports that they've, you know, they've reached Kiev. Um, so, who knows. We've got an hour and 45 minutes. We'll go past this one. It'll be the next petrol station we'll be stopping at. Uh, which I can't see on the map right now. But we can definitely do, you know, another 75 mile. The thing is, right, they, they, they're not releasing Heart of Russia because the UK are like, oh, because you, obviously Russia's invaded or whatever. I mean, not many people care, uh, like, playing this game-wise, care about, sort of, the reasons they've they've cancelled it. They're like, they just want DLC, they want expansions, they, like, if you, they, like, everyone just wants it. Everyone just wants more and more and more and more. Um... Be interesting to see if, like, if, if, say, if Russia does win it, which is looking more and more like it all the time, um, will they actually ever release it? Or is it too outdated now where they need to rework on it? Because it was finished, it was finished. And it was meant to come out, I think, March. 
like literally a month after they that was that was planned release date. Um, they probably do need to update it to better standards like the West Balkans now. Get overtaken. We're going the speed limit, but everyone seems to be breaking it. All the AI vehicles seem to break it. Don't pay attention to the speed limit at all. We have an hour. There is a petrol station coming up. That is where we are going to stop. Uh, it should be the next turn. Yes, it is the next turning. Berlin. Berlin's coming up. So we still haven't reached Berlin yet. Yeah, yeah, I know we're getting tired. Come up to it, we'll pull in, we'll go in there. After we sleep or whatever, we should get our second truck for Lisbon. We'll see how much money we still have left in the bank. Uh, we've definitely got to sleep another two times. Because it's like 25 hours to go. So definitely another two sleeps. Uh, so say 25 hours plus 16. There you go. Income's just coming of 2,000 pounds. 2,855 from Marcel, who is in Lisbon, so that's great by him. Uh, yeah. Turn off here. Um, 25 plus 16. 31, 41. That's 41 more hours. We have 63. Kind of the only time we're really gonna. Oh, the only time we're really not gonna like. You know stop here and go through that little bit is if when they have a uh you know out there on the main when they have like a helicopter landed and you're not allowed to go through there you have like the diversion down the um down through the uh the petrol station I don't know why the sat nav says to go that way when you can't, because that's the car side. You can't go down that way. Always oh, at the front. On that and sleep. Yes, we can afford. We're up to 269,000. So Iron J, 14,000 in. Uh, we'll switch the engine on. Our Iron J is also leveled up. Uh, we then got income of 7,000 pounds from Lenka. 4,000 pounds from Marcel. Thirty-seven thousand pounds from Corey. That's a big one. Corey has also leveled up. That wasn't the final one, though. There's still more to come through. Uh, income of seven thousand pounds from Monica. Uh, and Monica has also leveled up. Uh, and then the last one is income of five thousand pounds from Chris K. Who still we still need one level from. But anyway, uh, let's do truck dealers. Uh, truck dealers, we're gonna go buy online, uh, and we are going to uh, left. Yes, left. 
left hand drive. Left hand drive, left hand drive. Yeah, left, yeah. Left, right, yeah. Wait, what's this one? Right hand. Yeah, so left. Left is off the side. So obviously right hand is for the UK, left hand is that one. Alright, so purchase. Uh that's gonna go into Lisbon. Look at all these things. Look, just try to click on them. <laughs> Can't even click on Lisbon. Uh anyway, that's got into Lisbon. Uh and then we need to hire a driver. Uh, Someone really like three. Betts has got three. I think Betts is actually probably the best one to get. I'm looking at, you know, hit two on here or two on here. Oh, is it? I'm going to go with bets. I'm going to go with bets, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm going to go with bets. So we're down to 43,647. Um so we are definitely going to we are definitely getting another one because I mean we're down to 43,000, right? But our delivery is 160, which means we've got 200,000. Which means we only need 30,000. 30,000 from our drivers. Realistically, 40,000. If we include like all the fuel that we're going to need and the tolls and whatever, 40,000. Oh, that's such a nice driver. Moving into the middle lane. Oh, thank you so much. Give him a little honk, thank you. Thank you so much. That was nice of him moving over. Uh, although, it could just be him moving over because of the junction. We actually also need to get over. Okay, there might be a diversion. I think there is a diversion. Okay, we're 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 gonna we're gonna sit because I need to now plan what the hell we're doing. Uh, okay. Okay, we're just gonna go around the other way around around the Ber Ber around Berlin. Okay. And at twenty seven point eight four, we actually <laughs> go around like this. Might get us to um yeah, might get us to uh to twenty twenty eight percent. I'm pretty sure. I mean, obviously, nothing new discovered here. Uh, until that's all nothing new. Uh, it's only this bit from here to there. So yeah, we're definitely going to get to 28%. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't need to worry about that. We're going around Berlin. Right. Round we go then. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's about the same distance either way around Berlin. It's a circle, right? And we're going from east to west, so I don't I don't really think it matters. Right. Uh, still over a thousand miles to go, uh, and 25 hours to go to we, as we get there. So yeah, definitely two more sleeps. We've only driven half an hour. Yeah, so definitely two more sleeps. Um, 25 plus 16, 31, so th uh, 41, 41 hours to go. 41 hours to go, 54 hours to get there. Plenty of time, no need to panic. It's all brand new road we're discovering as well. More of Germany. I 
think the first achievement is 60%. Discover 60% of the map. And then the second achievement is discover 100% of the map. Uh, I don't think I'll ever will discover 100%. Like, ever. Think about it, right? Like, you... you, you we, we definitely can discover 60. No problem. Just playing the normal game, getting all the depot stuff, whatever. Done. But by the time I, like, get maybe to 90% discovered when we're trying to do that, DLC will come out, expand. It means you've discovered less of the map because that's come out. Then when you get, you know, try and go in there, discover more that, another DLC comes out, and another one, and another one. Like, it, it just constantly... Or you, or you constantly have updates to the map. When they, when they change an area of the map, for example, like Germany right now, when they update four cities, whatever you've discovered there is gone. You haven't discovered it anymore. You've got to go back there and discover it again. So when, you know, you, you think about, like, they've got to update Luxembourg, Netherlands, Belgium, Great Britain, um, Switzerland, Poland, like the whole of Poland, uh, Czech Republic, Hungary, like all these places have got to be updated. What I'm actually concerned about is, is with the going east, they will never actually update it. What they'll do is they'll get all the DLCs and everything. For example, like they'll update the UK where they with the island. They'll do that, and then like rather than updating all those, they'll work on maybe ETS three, and they'll release basically the ETS2 map but everything updated to the same standard without any DLC be like here's ETS3 you know for maybe like a hundred pound and then you've got to buy the DLCs again so like all the trailer packs all the cargo packs you know stuff like that and then what they'll do is that basically like ETS3 will stay as obviously Euro Truck. It won't expand past Europe. It will only be like, well, they might expand like maybe like countries that come into Europe. So they might be like, oh, we'll add the whole of Russia because Russia comes into Europe. Or we'll add in like, you know, little Spanish islands and same with British islands, you know. But it'd be like every year, like a new DLC of like extra things, like, you know, a new trailer company or a new paint job, new accessories, older versions of trucks, you want in the game, here's DLC, like stuff like that. Tires. Yeah, I want to be in this lane. They're indicating to come over. Holy crap. That's what I think probably will happen. And makes most sense. I think about it, they only updated Italy and France because they added on DLC. That's the only reason they got updated. They've updated Germany because Germany needs to be updated because of DLC connected to it. Like all the ports that have had to be added at the top to go to Scandinavia. You know, so it's, it's been updated because of that. Have we gone past Berlin now? Yes, we have. Right, we've gone past Berlin. So. Should be coming into Poland now. Yeah. 
Yeah, here's the petrol station I thought we were going to stay in. But, um, yeah. Maybe if I went through the toll in France and slept in the proper resting area. It's a bit further along, you know. Oh, crap. Pull out. No, I was breaking me for. Right, here we go. Into Poland. That toll coming up. To pay up all of them. Right, up to 50 mile an hour we go then. Okay, so after this we've got 914 miles and 22 hours to go. Uh, driving wise we have 8 hours. So 22 minus 8. 22 minus 8. 22 minus 8 is 14. So say, say actually 15. Uh, the minus 8 is 5, so yeah. Still no one has paid us in yet, any money, remember we only need from 43, so 100, 600, uh, it's 203, so we only need 20, I'd say 20, yeah, 25,000 from our drivers, because we've got about 3,000 extra in our bank already for the fuel and tolls. Uh, I don't think um, our drivers will bring in 185,000 before we deliver this. Could be wrong, but I don't think they will. So I think it will be, yeah, definitely um, buy that there. However, the upgrade to the garage, I believe, is 80,000, right? So, you know, possibly at a stretch we could upgrade the garage as well. Possibly. Possibly. If we can upgrade the garage, like for example, say if I sleep uh, and I wake up and I have enough money to upgrade the garage, plus I'm looking at my bank balance and everything, and it's like, oh. Okay, we can definitely afford the upgrade and and that I'll upgrade it before we buy the next truck. Because obviously the upgrade is cheaper than that, so I'll buy it before we upgrade the next truck. Because then my two current drivers already in there should then pay less for fuel and less for servicing, which means it's again more profit. I think I think so. I think yeah, because they fill up at the garage every time. It should be cheaper, so more money should be coming in. truck coming 
past us. Foot containers, yeah. Why are they slowing down for? Our oh, toll's coming up, okay. Shouldn't need to slow down anyway. Yeah, with Poland, there's no express. There's no express lane. You have to stop and pay at all of them. This is what the whole map was like before. I think France. Yeah, France was the first one to come in with express tolls, which was 20, 2015. Escaping from us, they're clearly lighter. Oh, they've actually switched lanes. Why? <laughs> Why have you switched to the outside lane? Makes no sense. Uh, I think maybe at the next junction we need to be in the outside lane. I'm not sure. There's a car just gone past. No, we can continue straight ahead here. So I don't, I don't know why, why that did that. I can definitely pull in front of me now. Oh, I knew they weren't going to stop. I knew they weren't going to stop. I was going to risk that. Have just taken the cruise control off to be fair when I saw it coming up the ramp. It would have dropped about two mile an hour. That would have been enough for it to get on. Oh come on Porsche, come on. Come on then, go past. That's probably one thing they can update about Poland without like doing a full rework is just the tolls. Like, some of them like, you know, if they are prepaid whatever, just do the tolls across the whole map first before anything else. That will, you know, improve, improve it so much. Improve all the tolls across the entire map. 
of uh, you know going east before they rework any roads or see whatever. Yeah, just improve those. Enjoyable to drive through. I mean, going east isn't as bad as the UK. Obviously, it's a is a year newer, um, because the UK half of it is from is 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 three years older than going east. Half of the map in the UK because it's from UK Truck Simulator. So, you know, the standard of this is equal all the way along. Whereas the UK, some places are really really bad. Also, then go and each just upgrade the tolls and then go to the UK. Considering when, you know, the Greece DLC comes out, uh, your longest distances might be from like the Greek islands up to Aberdeen, which means people are going to be driving up and down the UK a lot more than what they currently are doing, which is, you know, between Istanbul and Lisbon or Viborg and Lisbon, which are like the longest distances. They're going to go between Greece and the UK. You don't go through any of the going east part of the map. Because you're going to go in the West Balkans, up through Slovenia, uh, then come through sort of Italy. Well, no, you're going to go straight into Austria, actually, aren't you? Yeah, you go straight into Austria. Avoid Italy, straight into Austria, then into Germany, Germany, then into France. You avoid the whole going east map. Same with, obviously, if, if, if Lisbon to Greece becomes the longest distance, then again, you still avoid the going east part of the map. But then the Nordic expansions are going to come out. And then it actually might be from the top of Norway. All the way to the top of Norway. Obviously, that curves around the whole of Sweden and Finland. So Norway's like going to be the top, top. All the way down to the bottom of Greece. There's this truck going back past us. We already took it out of the toll. Uh, again, you're still not going to go through going east. We haven't had a single payment on our drive through, and we've been driving almost six hours now. And uh, no one's brought us in any money. Weird. Not even like our newest driver. Oh, I forgot to set her thing to do longest distance, but um, yeah, it's fine. I don't think she should level up on the first delivery anyway. So I'll set that up before we go sleep. Because she might level up on her second delivery. Another toll? Yes, another toll. Speed camera. Income minus 119 from Betts. There we go. So Betts has actually just delivered. Minus. That didn't level up. That's what I'm saying. They're going to level up on, this, on their next one. I 
don't know why everyone's gone in that lane. There's no one, like, there's no one here. No, even out a bit more. Okay, we're going to be behind that Renault with the empty trailer. Okay, I thought they'd pull away from us considering they're not pulling any weight at all, but that Renault is so underpowered. Jeez, man. Yeah, but now it's not even up to 70 km h yet. Come on. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> the cruise was like, we're too close. There we go. We should be fine now. No, it's going to start breaking. Oh. Why are they breaking for? What's going on? Turning off. That's how we're slowing down. Come on, go off then. Yeah, you can just couldn't get over. There's too much traffic after the toll. Hasn't really affected us at all, though. To be fair, we still got four and a half hours till we need to sleep. So we are going to sleep within Poland. It's the uh, you know Europeans' second biggest country. That's fully within Europe. Oh, you're joking. I literally just went into the speed. Police car right behind us. Slammed it on then. These lights also don't work, because they're like red or green. <laughs> Does that actually, they don't actually light up. Careful not to speed. Actually, no cars coming on. Yeah, we can go top speed now, 50 mile an hour. Get past them because they're still accelerating. I just should come up, but we're going to go past this one. I mean, if it took bets five and a half hours to go one way, it's going to take a five and a half hours to go the other way, right? With a with a load. So we should be stopping before she does delivery back in Lisbon. If she has a load back to Lisbon, she might not have a load. She might be driving back empty. Thing is, right? You know when our drivers drive back empty, you know, in the in the normal game, if you drive uh, 100 kmh or 62 kilometers, uh, sorry, yeah, 100 kmh, 100 100 kilometers. If you drive 100 kilometers or 62 miles, they're the words I'm trying to find, you get 50 XP. I don't know 
if the drivers, the AI drivers, if they also get this or not. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that it's less XP than taking a load. I'm pretty sure we get more than one XP per mile. Um, yeah, we're just slowly driving through. Speed camera. I'm worried that the police car's still behind me. So, you know, just don't want to be caught speeding. I don't actually know what a Polish police car looks like. I haven't seen one in front of me. I don't think any's overtaken me. Five pound pay, lovely, right. That alpha should pull out the fast lane. Yes, it has. It's gone. Right. End of motorway. So, yes, we are coming into town. Oh, we just got Veronica. And Veronica has leveled up. Oh, Veronica brought in over £20,000. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, we actually need to be in the other lane. You gonna let me over or what? I don't think this camper van's gonna let me over. I am indicating here. No. through these lights. Oh, there we are. Okay, nothing's coming the other way. Good for us. Nope. Yeah, Warsaw. Going past Warsaw. Are we all the way back at Poland now? I don't think so. At Warcor, isn't it? War Warcor. At the back of Poland. Seven hundred miles to go. Three and a half hours till we need to sleep. Yeah, so we kind of need to look out for the next petrol station because I don't see any petrol stations on the map. So it probably will be the next one. We see we will stop at. Uh, I think now it's 70 kmh. Like the fastest we're going to be able to go. Yeah. Oh no, we can go. Okay. It says it said 80, then it goes 70, then it goes national speed limit. 80, 70, national speed. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, uh, it's not... Okay, I see the next petrol station, which is just after we go from a two-lane to a one-lane country road. Um, which is where we are going to be going 70k makes the whole way after. How much 
much fuel we got. We've got... We've actually still got like three quarters worth of fuel. We have been going 50 mile an hour very slowly. That still bugs me how the brake light of those vans is on instead of off. Just fix that. Just fix that little thing. Fix it. We still need to fill up with fuel though every time we do sleep because we haven't got enough we haven't got enough savings or anything to do double distance yet uh we need i think we need the whole 30 percent fuel saving to do it um and that's and i think we can only do two in one if we're going through countries where it's like 50 and below average if we're traveling like uk france into Spain, whatever, we're not going to be able to do it. We're travelling much faster speeds, which uses more fuel, but then you're also doing more distance, which again uses more fuel. Right, we've got the fuel station coming out. Uh, no, it's still got two and a half hours. I'm gonna go because we've got a, we've got a town actually after town city we've got a city after so I'm gonna go to the next city. I'm not gonna bother going to this, although I think there is some cars going in this. Because we are going slow, but it's all cars ahead of us. There you go. Yeah, so we should be okay because they can all go faster than us. There you go. Yeah, a car pulled in. Oh, we're actually speeding. Junction right off of here, we should be, you know, 70k range the whole way. Right. Yes, relaxing driving now, like this. So, yeah, I see a city coming up. So we can just, you know, sleep within that city. No problem. Yeah, I've got to go slow route here. I think I could I could actually sleep at this place and uh, not fill up with fuel if like, we're stopping in the hotel or whatever because we're going through Poland where you can only go 43 mile an hour which obviously uses less fuel because you're going slower and you're doing less miles which means you, you're not going to use as much fuel either um, Who'd possibly get away with it? Let's see, we're going to go past this one. We've got an hour and 40 minutes still. We'll definitely make it into the city. What city are we going towards, actually? Uh, Bile Estock. 
by Lee Stock is where we're going into. There it is on that sign. Surprised we haven't anyone overtake us yet. the stars. Speed camera coming up, yeah, well, I mean, we're going the speed limit anyway. The hotel is by the side, and I know there is a petrol station further up that we can definitely make it, so we'll go to the next petrol station, past the hotel, I don't understand why that junction there was a flashy yellow because that is quite a dangerous junction. More dangerous, obviously, than that. Well, that's all two lane, two lane, two lane, two lane, yeah. Hmm. Still, it's kind of like, you know, that's a main road coming in and out. I feel like that should have had uh, proper lights. to get there, it's fine. Oh, we can go to 50. No, we can't, we're going to go to the cars behind me. <laughs> so, you know. Fine, someone will definitely turn off at that junction. Right, you can see on the sat nav down below there is the petrol station. And this guy in front is also limited to 43. Yeah, 43 mins, there's nothing after this, so we will be pulling into this petrol station. Yeah. Right, 
engine off. Uh, oh, before we go sleep, remember, 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 driver manager, we need to um, set bets to, uh, to long distance. Chris K, yeah, still one away. So, yeah, okay. Right. So, Alex B, 2200. Uh, also leveled up. We'll let the um, brakes warm up. Bets just came in 1200. Marcel couldn't find a job. Got a maintenance minus 483. Elena, 4,300. Elena has also leveled up. Christina brought in 3,300. Uh, and 16,000 from Simone. Uh, and Simone has also leveled up. Lovely. You're going to keep beeping at me. Come on. There we go. Right, so we now have 14 hours uh, and 585 miles to go. Just saw Polish police go the other way, actually, so we actually know what it looks like now. It's like white with a bit of blue on it. Uh, so we're up to 94,000, which means, yes, we are definitely affording uh, a truck and a driver when we deliver this with 160,000, because we'll be up to uh, 250, or above 250,000. Oh, they've been pulled over, naughty, naughty. Um, so it is on. It is actually on to upgrade the garage at the same time uh, because we're we're in we're in well I mean we're we're twenty we're over twenty in so we need one hundred and thirty more realistically for a uh, for the garage upgrade <laughs> no no it's eighty thousand isn't it it's eighty thousand for garage upgrade so we only actually need um, sixty thousand more for the garage upgrade uh, and we've got basically fourteen hours plus eight equals twenty two so there's twenty two hours still to go before we get to where we are. That's a lot of time for drivers to bring in a lot of money. Here we go then, we're gonna go past our waypoints just to avoid, um, yeah, avoid that there. This obviously road here that goes across here, this is like the old, this is going east, this is the furthest you can go. That all connects each other. This past here is now uh, we have the DLC. Baltic, is it Baltic Sea or Black Sea? Baltics, yeah. Yeah, I wrote a Baltic Sea and it's the Baltic countries. Yeah, Balkans, Baltic, in here. Oh, car tried to overtake and car coming the other way. Sad times for them. Yeah, sorry, this is the update, like, from here, I think. I think that other road there is still continuing within the update for that. We've got the uh, border coming up. Uh, yes, Marcel has just brought in £2,400. Lovely. Got 
nice driving along. There's police. We're going that speed anyway. Not sure if we have to slow down again. Yes, we do. Very slow past the border. Like the old border crossing when they weren't part of the European Union. Here we go then into Lithuania, I believe. Go fifty, lovely. Faster speeds, just fast speed camera. Right, so now that we've crossed in, we've got twelve hours to go and eight hundred and twenty miles to go. Uh, so love, uh, love that, and we've got some nine and a half hours of drive time before we need to sleep. So yes, it will be like three hours uh, remaining when we sleep. The countries, obviously, we've all discovered this road before. It's until we get nearer to uh, Narva, is when we'll discover more new road. Um. I mean, to buy the new truck, or oh, white and green for the police cars, buy the new truck, we're not going to be able to buy the new truck before we deliver this. Uh, when I wake, oh, should I buy, maybe I should buy the garage upgrade before I go sleep. Maybe I should buy it before I go sleep, because I think we can, I think we can do it. Well, actually, I'll only do it if we're less than, like, £10,000 away before we sleep and our drive. I will upgrade the garage beforehand, like, combining what we've already got plus what we're going to get. I mean, like, 230 plus 80. What's 230 plus 80? It's 310. So it needs to add up to 310. So we're getting 160, which means we need to have 150 in the bank. Yeah, we need to have 150 in the bank. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this turn off is like this big because of the Russian expansion that was meant to come in. Or maybe for future updates into Belarus or Ukraine. Oh, we can actually go 90 game H along here. Lovely. Oh, bit too fast. There we go. No, why are you breaking for? Why did it break for? Ugh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think some of these junctions I'm ready for. Obviously, future expansions. Future map expansions. Oh no, that's a weird one. That doesn't go into Canus. That turn off there. Same with this one, to be fair. Or, actually, that's going back towards Kiliangrad. Caravans, right, round the loop here. Where's that road going? Yeah, I hate this junction is the worst junction because you obviously can have. I oh know we just stay in this lane, right? You're going to turn it straight off. Like, if you're going the opposite way, you can just go straight across. Whereas this one, you have to go around all these different junctions. It's just absolutely annoying. Trying to discover all that junction at some point is going to be an absolute nightmare. Take our time through here. I mean, I don't think I did actually need to fill up with fuel. I could have made it to the next petrol station because we're going quite slowly through everywhere. Not going to do many miles. Uh, I mean, look, we've got 10 hours to go and 430 miles, so... Still Pedersen, yeah, we haven't gone over a hundred thousand. We should be over a hundred thousand before we go to sleep. I'm hoping. Can we go? Yeah, we can go back up to 50. Right. Uh, we should be coming to Estonia very soon. <laughs> You're breaking because... No need to break. Oh no, there was need to break. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Through all these villages, slow us down. Yeah, as 
soon, at one point there might be pedestrians that waiting at a bus stop. There should be buses going into these bus stops here. I want to see, I want to see that sort of stuff first before they introduce buses to actually drive around. Seeing our company trucks driving around would also be a great improvement. Right, round onto another little motorway. Pulled into the fast lane, that's good. Letting us on. We're going faster than them. Nah, uh, we're going into one lane. It should be. No, no, petrol station. I thought it might be the border, it's not. Breaking so much. Six hours still to go, so yeah, pass this. We're gaining on these guys. I mean, we're going. I've got it. Yeah. See, look, we're breaking. Oof. I have quite a lot there yeah, turning off. Police is waiting to come out this way. I mean, it's going to wait a long, long time. Quite a lot of traffic. I'm getting like trucks just randomly spawning on the uh, on the ramps, randomly spawning in. Weird. Still limited to seventy kmh, and still yet no one's delivered in for us. We're still under a hundred. So, I mean, we need to be over 150, so we need to earn 55,000 from our drivers before we buy the garage upgrade. Which, most likely now, will be after we sleep, if we do get it in before we deliver. Just going past Pan Panavigia Panavigis Panavigis. Run 
Oh, it's a lot tighter than I thought. Cruise along. Yeah, we have stopped in there before. Orders coming up now. Uh, we do have to slow down. The coach will slow down before us, which will let us know. I mean, we're already two and a half hours into this. Oh my lord! What the? I haven't seen that on the road. I wish I saw that on the road. That was a big combine harvester, like coming out from a field, indicating. That would have been awesome to see on the road. The old checkpoint. So yeah, leaving the Wania by into Estonia. Or is it Latvia? No, it's Latvia. Oh, Estonia is the top one. Lithuania, Latvia. So it's in alphabetical order. That's kind of easier to remember then. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. They go down in alphabetical order. Easy. If I remember it like that, yeah, I won't forget anymore. Uh, yeah. Well, we're still limited to 70 kmh through all this. No, the, the petrol stations are so frequent. Obviously, fuel is very cheap up here. Look there, look! Right. Ah! One of them over there. Big green, right? Almost crashed as I was looking at. That was trying to come on the road, so that's going to come down here. Do they actually drive on the road or not? following that coach. That coach is going a very long way. I've got nothing behind us, so nothing's really following us anywhere. Right, we've got a cinematic camera up here, which I don't think we've discovered because it's not purple. So... Should should we stop and discover it? I think maybe we should stop and discover it. Because we haven't we haven't discovered it before. We might as well discover it while we're here. Mm -hmm. 
Riga Hyd Hydrolonic Hy Riga Dam. It's a dam. There you go. Yeah, hydro hydrodrolic uh, plant, which is is the long word for a dam. Yeah, wow, it actually holds in quite a lot of water, don't it? There's my truck in the background. Nice. Take that as our shot. Well, that's discovered. Brought in a nice amount of money, our newest driver. Uh, still not over a hundred though, just shy, just shy. We're 98, 99,814. So just about didn't bring enough to get us to the hundred thousand mark. So, yeah. But we are getting closer. So we just need over 50,000 now in order to upgrade the garage. Uh, how long ago till we sleep? Did that? I don't know if that took a bit of time out. It might have done. Doesn't really matter. We've still got 27 and a half hours to deliver this. Are you joking? Oh, flip's sake. Oh. I was going 35. I was breaking. It kept, like, if I was going 34, it wouldn't have done it. It should catch me one mile an hour over. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Absolutely ridiculous. Right, straight ahead across this junction. Yeah, if I wasn't working out bets is, you know, how much, probably would have wouldn't have got fined. Would have paid a bit more attention to the road. I think if I work out everything I've spent on repairing my trucks and all the fines that I've got, it would have been enough to probably get another truck in by now. What? Why do I have to go so slow through that little section? <laughs> there was police there. <laughs> Almost probably got fined again. Speed camera. Uh, we're now oh, Andrej brought in twenty six thousand pounds. Wait, I can go fifty now. 
Like at 50 mile an hour? Are we in Estonia already? Let's see us cross a border. crossing a border. Okay, fine. If we can go to speed, we can go to speed. Just past the petrol station stuff. I should actually check. There, we still got two and a half hours. That's fine. Uh, we've got plenty of, like, sleeping places to come up and stuff like that, so we don't need to worry. Passing another sleeping place just up here. But, yeah, if we've got, if we've got two and a half hours... Yeah, we've got two and a half hours, so yeah, we should definitely come across another petrol station at some point. Speed camera. There's loads of speed cameras along here. So, yeah, it's saying 240 miles to go and five and a half hours to go. So, yeah, it will be like three, three and a half, maybe four hours, depending on, you know, when we see this petrol station of how far away we will be. Um, yeah, I only need 26,000 now before I sleep to upgrade the garage. But, I mean, if we get it after I sleep, I'll upgrade the garage. We are braking because... I don't know. Yeah, them in front are going quite slow. They are accelerating though. Well, he was accelerating. Not really accelerating now. Yeah, the other like, vroom, 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 vroom. Uh, petrol station coming up. Uh, there's one straight after, though, so we can definitely just go past this one. Ah, uh, we're limited to 50 kmh through here, fine. going on here. Okay. Fine. Lovely. Right, yes. Into uh, Estonia now. Lovely. Petrol station straight after. Uh, we do have an hour and a half. There is another petrol station we're going to come across. I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one, uh, which will be on new roads that we haven't discovered before. Um, so yeah, we'll go to that. Yeah, come on, keep going. We can go 56 mile an hour along here.
go 55 because we're catching up with whatever that is in front. The trees and the light is kind of affecting my eyes a little bit. Kind of how it would in real life, to be fair. Uh, in real life, uh, when I drive, I basically drive with sunglasses on all the time. I have really like sensitive, light sensitive eyes. Um, so I, I drive with sunglasses on all the time. Uh, you know. And the only time I don't is like when it's proper pitch black. So, for example, in, in the summertime, I'm only driving with sunglasses on between like 11, well, without them, between like 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. The rest of the time, sunglasses are on my face. have um the polarized ones obviously um better for driving with right we should be coming up to that ah we've got to turn off and then we come up to the petrol station so we've got an hour before we actually need to sleep so and now that we can go you know now we can go 56 mile an hour it's fine 3,500 in by Veronica. Veronica's not bringing in that much money. I don't know what Veronica's doing. But... Veronica's going on these, like, really long trips. Which take ages and bringing in such little money. Generally no idea what's going on. gone through here before. Church. Right, we've got the petrol station coming up now. We can sleep. Petrol sleep. Yeah, brake, brake. I don't know why you're accelerating into the truck. Uh, can we... Yeah, we can sleep after. So let's see if there was like a truck parked in this space. No, no, no. 145 a litre isn't as cheap as Russia. Russia's always the cheapest place to, to get fuel. The hell's that truck doing? It just stopped there. Uh, yeah, we can't afford it yet. Waking up though. Ah, we definitely can now. So, Betts has brought in 515. Uh, Betts has also leveled up. That's great. Uh, let's switch this on because we need to warm up the brakes. Uh, Elena, 2300. 28,000 from Grezzers. Love it. Also leveled up. Four thousand nine hundred twenty-seven from Alex. And income of four thousand nine hundred forty-two from Marcel. Right. Uh, let's garage manager uh, upgrade it. You might be like, oh, why are you upgrading it? You've already got, you know two drivers in there, is because uh, we can upgrade it and once we deliver this load we can obviously buy another uh, buy another truck and get a driver. So it's just to upgrade it now, so then they have the fuel as you can see at the back, so their fuel is cheaper and their servicing is cheaper. Should be. And as you can see, this looks a lot better than the UK garages. A lot better. rather be in this garage than the UK one. Uh, but yeah, right. Why, uh, driver manager, what is up with Veronica? Why is Veronica 
For Strath. Oh, she's not going like full distance everywhere. Canoes. Yeah, but London, ca London ca to canoes. Where's canoes? Why is that so little? I don't know where Canoes is. It's 1,000 something. It, it must be... Canoes, 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 Canoes. It's got to be Eastern Europe, surely. What's she doing now? She's got to, she's got to be going back to London, surely. Yeah, she's, going back to she's only gone to Strasbourg, which isn't that far. She's fine. Um, Christine is still a higher level. Yeah. Map view. I mean, look, they're all here. There's Veronica. Yeah, only go there. So they must. Be, she must be doing per pay per mile. They must do pay per mile. Because. That's clearly the most expensive you can get. Can use this turkey, right? No. I actually don't know where it is. Um, I actually have no clue. I don't think anyone else is going there, to be honest. No trailer, nothing bringing in. Uh, I need to actually work out. Yeah, mm, yeah, we've got enough money. But who else is delivering in our time? So if I still will deliver. Or maybe it's slightly over. I think th under three hours. Nothing. Too much. Okay, so we have one. One. One deliver definitely one, possibly two. Definitely one, possibly two. Right, is our brakes warmed up yet? Yes they have. Right. Definitely one, possibly two deliveries. We got th mm, we nearly got four hours, so yeah, I think two deliveries should come in. Um in the time. Right, we're now leaving the city and we can go for 70 kmh. Right. So two deliveries will come in. We've got our own delivery. Uh, so we've got 83 plus what we've got is 240 plus what them two bring in. Okay, now we can go 56. Plus what them two bring in. Yeah. We're definitely not going to be able to afford two trucks. But we definitely need to go to Madrid because we're not far away actually from affording our fourth truck in the Lisbon garage already. Uh, and think about when we delivered to Lisbon, we've, we've only done one, two, this is our third load. So like in four deliveries, we've, we've bought Lisbon garage, upgraded it and bought five trucks, four deliveries. So it's, 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 we're doing slightly more than two, uh, two, slightly more than one. We're doing like one point five things per delivery. I don't work on the math yet. Yeah, one point five things per delivery. Once we buy Madrid, get Madrid upgrade, and get five trucks in there, it probably will be one like two things per delivery: garage truck, truck truck, garage truck, truck new garage. Like it, it will, it will be two things at a time. So, 
I think realistically after like Madrid Madrid might be the last time we actually like go places where before Paris I mean after Paris what's the next one? Paris I think I'm gonna go Paris Belgium uh, uh, and then uh, then the Netherlands because they all just got the same trucks and then I might actually go Denmark just because they will all have the same trucks and then go back down to Luxembourg after because then it's the first of the it's then the other trucks of only the two axle and then do all of that and then do Scandinavia the three axle uh, two powered We're nowhere near the police then. Speeding there. Where are we? We're in Tartu. Tar two. Well, we're going past Tar two. I don't know. If, I don't think we're going to discover Tar two. No, we're not discovering Tar two. What? I thought that was an eighty kmh sign. turning anyway, we'll just let the truck slow down. <laughs> We're going back towards Tar 2. Delivered, so we're going to have over 240 uh, just by ourselves. Uh, see what the other two bring in, which may bring us to 250. Why? Why, 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 why are you braking for? What's going on? Stop braking. I don't like how there's no road markings here either. Now there's road markings. Great. Uh, okay. Keep the indicator on because I'm turning off again. Why isn't this like a road straight down into Tar 2? Odd. Accelerate again and then slow down again for another junction. So just foot flat to the floor, try and get to 56 and then brake again.
Yeah, I was kind of worried about pulling in front of that truck. Um, <laughs> glad it worked out, though. Glad it worked out. Well, because we've done quite short deliveries and now we're doing quite long ones again. I mean, the next one, if we are going to go all the way to Madrid in one go, it will be over three hours. Because uh, we're going a longer distance than what we've just done. Um, but then from there, it probably will be short ones. Oh, income just come in. 14,000. By Lenka. So Lenka started to bring in some big money. Still waiting for Chris to do another delivery. So we can upgrade Chris from uh, long distance to balance. Obviously, all of the London and Cardiff depots are on that. It's the Edinburgh ones we're now watching. Swing out and hit me then. Right, we've only got an hour to go, forty five miles. So we are definitely going <gasps> to. Whoa! The way that was in the light, I didn't see that till the last second. That could have been absolutely dreadful hitting that. Probably would have seen it more at night with the reflective and whatever. Oh! I don't know. Okay, definitely got to wait for the lights to start flashing them before you go across that, otherwise invisible barrier doesn't lift for you. Come on. Ah, oh, they're struggling to accelerate. I think we're coming into a town anyway. Yeah. We're turning for the next junction. Oh, we can go. We can speed up now. Ooh, okay, we're following them. <laughs> Petersburg. So St. Petersburg's this way. Pretty sure we've we've yeah. Pretty sure we've been through St. Petersburg. Didn't go this way. Get a speed camera. watch what this does. Obviously if it slows down for a village we gotta slow down. Twenty two thousand in by Vasil and Vasil has leveled up hundred and nineteen thousand. Yeah plus our one sixty it's not going to be enough to buy two trucks, unfortunately. Uh, as we're going to go to like, I mean, well, basically we're going to go to 280. So we're going to have 55 left in the bank. Here we 
we go. Then we should discover the city. And we've got to turn into it. Oh, we're following the truck. Okay. Yeah. We have got a repair center straight across. But, uh, I don't think I'm going to go in there though. Like, yeah. We still haven't discovered it. We've driven into the city. Oh, now we've discovered it. There we go. Right. We're turning in here. Okay, this looks like a construction company. So, hmm. XP. It doesn't look that hard, to be fair. It's not that hard. Straighten up here. Yeah, we'll go into the... <laughs> go into the grass! I'm going to have my head out my window, actually, for this one, because I got to look at that lamppost, if I can. just want to angle it very slightly. Just let the, um, the clutch do all the work for us. I think we're going slightly downhill, which is making it go faster than what I want it to go. There we go. Yeah, that's not the hardest I've ever delivered in, and I got 90 XP for it, so, you know, good. <laughs> right, 2,112 miles, not bad. Just delivered within three hours. And boom, yes, we have got another level 5700, so we are, you know, a bit less off. There we go, apply the fuel saving, so now we can save 20% fuel. Uh, where are we? Sort of like in here. No, oh, no, we're not there. Up here. Is this the only place? I oh, know, I'm guessing that, oh, I don't know. I don't know what that's related to, but I think this is the only place here. You've got the border right there. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the only place you can deliver. Uh, no, the other one is also related. Right, okay. Uh, let's buy a truck, because we can. Uh, Mercedes. Buy online. Uh, my fleet is this one. Yeah. Purchase. Uh, into Lisbon, please. Lovely. We're down to 56,000. We're going to go down to like 55 because we're a higher driver. Uh, someone who's quite even. I think. I'm going to say Pictar. Yeah. Uh, right. Driver manager. Uh, 
long distance. Long distance, long distance. Where's Chris K? Yeah. So everyone Edinburgh down is on long distance. Um, everyone above is on balance. Yeah, so Christine's nearly done. Chris, Veronica's nearly done. Uh, uh, uh. Right, let's... Um, yeah. We'll end it here, actually. Yeah, uh, 54,000. Uh, I'll check, obviously, at another time if we do have another a load to Madrid. But that's where we are going to go now. We are going to we are gonna go towards um, Madrid, uh, which is further away than, obviously, where we've come from. Um, I don't know if we're going to do it in one load. If we can do it in one load, great. If we can't, then, obviously, we'll split and I mean, we'll just keep earning money anyway. By the time we get to Madrid, we possibly won't be able to afford a truck and a garage, but we will basically, we should just be able to afford the truck, not the, the garage. We won't be able to afford the truck and the garage, but we will be able to afford the garage. So uh, that should be, yeah, that should be enough. And then we can, you know, go back and forth again, do one long delivery and then one back to Paris and so on. I think, I think that's how it's going to work now. We're going to do really one long distance away, then one to the next garage that we want. Um, but yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed, though, please like and subscribe. Watch YouTube, follow me on Twitch to get to 130 followers affiliate. So do follow me. Please watch me live, that really helps me out. Check out the link in the description below for the playlist, the previous episodes, or the future ones, depending on when you're watching this. And of course, check out the channel as well, other social medias for other stuff posts. Well, enjoy it. As always, thanks for watching. Take care and.